Okay, it seems like, you know, some days you wake up and uh, eventually <laughs> fell back asleep last night. But some days you wake up and you're like super pumped and you know you're energetic and you're ready to get things done. And then you sort of open up your inbox and you go, oh boy, you know, uh, and that kind of derails the momentum for the day. But I guess what makes us proficient is how we sort of deal with those obstacles. So we had some obstacles this morning, but that is part of any business. Um, for the guys that ordered the Let's Go Brandon breaks, today is the day. I was meant to go there yesterday and actually laser them, but I left the files plugged in on my USB stick on my computer. Also today we have to sort out this mess because you know when I get busy and I've been smashing out videos for you guys things tend to just sort of stay. I was hanging pictures for my wife last night which I absolutely despise doing. But we need to take this off today and we're gonna put Kali up there and then we also need to do, hang on I need to walk like this because there's some stuff there that you guys definitely can't see yet. Oh what could it be? Um, I need to sort out this room because this room is chaos too. I mean there's stuff everywhere lying around, chassis, because sometimes when I make videos I quickly rip things one side and I just sort of put them down so that it can look cool. But then, you know, the room sort of turns into chaos. But we're going to need to fix that because my OCD, I can kind of deal with this for a day or two and then it drives me insane. We also need to install over there, you'll see the new Henderson trimmer. That is this guy. Actually this is just the motor for the trimmer. Um, this is the trimmer itself. There's a very specific reason I decided to go for this trimmer and I'm excited to sort of take you guys through setting that up and everything. But we have a lot to do today. We're possibly gonna make some steaks um, this evening. So a couple of you guys have asked me like Pete how do you cook your steaks and every time I upload a photo of like kudu steaks or something to Instagram, you guys absolutely love that. So depending how we do throughout the day, I might just have you guys tag along for the entire day and we'll finish it off with some steak. have a draw that hammers like this you are massively missing out crazy thanks skulk yes it jam okay my goodness what a freaking morning you guys absolutely smashed our black friday sale um, i wasn't actually planning on doing like a big sale i mean we didn't do a massive massive sale but we did do 10% off the whole store and we did 50% off my precision rifle training and my reloading training. And at the time of watching this, because I don't know when this video will come out, but I will give you guys another chance to snatch up the 50% off the precision rifle training and the reloading training. Last week I got a testimonial from a client to say it's the best money that he's ever invested in his sort of shooting journey is purchasing my reloading course. So that is, you know, super validating for me. So I'm going to leave a coupon code down below so that you guys can still get the 50% off. Anyway, I'm going to go finish the Let's Go Brandon breaks. You guys also smashed that by the way. Let me know in the comments down below if we should open those back up. Um, perhaps do another little limited run. Anyway, I'll see you at the workshop. Let's go! Holy moly, um, that took a while. It's now close to four. So if you've got a Let's Go Brandon break, I did the engraving and everything myself. And if you look very, very closely, you'll see a tiny, tiny little signature. We have one more errand to run uh, today. Uh, actually a few. I asked you guys in one of our last videos if you'd be interested in a podcast and a lot of you said yes. So we're doing it. We're starting the podcast. I've sort of outlined the first couple of episodes. It's gonna be on this channel um, and it's sort of gonna be life, shooting, business, you know, I don't want to limit myself to sort of just making shooting related content on there. So I think it's going to be interesting. It's going to be cool to sort of also peel back the layers a bit instead of just, you know, talking about a product or something like that. Just have some conversations, interview some guests. 
I'm super pumped about it because I sometimes, well, not sometimes, very often feel limited with sort of the type of content and the type of stuff that I can share with you guys. So yeah, we got a whole kit and everything. It's probably gonna take a while to figure everything out, but I'm super pumped about that. Start a podcast, they said. It'll be fun. Also. We got steak, son. Okay, here's an update. I've kind of assembled everything and checked it out. That's the new podcast mic. Now, this video will likely come out after our first episode. So check down below. There is going to be a link for our first podcast episode. Now, Henderson Trimmer is over here. Now, the US guys, I mean, you have these weird plugs. And the last time I cut a plug off something to convert it to sort of our um, type of plugs, that exploded the rcbs little case prep station there was instantly smoke so i didn't want to do that obviously with this henderson trimmer but thankfully the poi guys did some research and they saw that the motor that is in this runs 220 volts so we were able to snippety snip snip and it is running so what i'm going to do now i'm going to mount it on one of these qd plates so that we can slip it in between benches Right, so while we were out, we got another delivery. Now, if you guys remember, you will know that I said that I'm gonna give you the awesome workshop tour, show you sort of what my thought process was for mounting things where, you know, it's not perfect. If I did it over, I think every single one of us that has sort of a reloading room wishes for more space. This is a small bedroom, this is what it was, but there's obviously a whole bunch of other stuff here that's sort of outside of shooting stuff too. Anyway, the two pieces of equipment that I was needing and sort of waiting for to do that video was the Henderson trimmer, okay? And the other piece you might have just gotten a, a little glimpse of that just came in. Let me show you guys this. Gnarly. Okay. This thing is a freaking beast. It is so heavy. Um, actually makes me think of doing the videos on the 4190 press, which is sort of next to you guys there. It is proper heavy. Speaking of 419, They've recently announced sort of a version that they're gonna be doing. Also in this video, I might leave a coupon code for you guys to save 20% off one of these vices. Um, so I will put that in the video if we get that done by the time this uploads. I'm super pumped on that. Gonna probably run some machining stuff too to sort of get a modular vice or I'll probably just end up getting the sort of jaws directly from 419. So. Freaking pump. Now today, what I want to do is set that up over here somewhere, but I also need the ability to sort of chop and change, and I'll show you guys sort of the versatility of that vise. It's freaking badass. Um, the bolt quality, and you can obviously just feel quality when you have your hands on it. American made, yeah, I'm super pumped. I had like the world's, I don't want to almost put a swear word in, but let me show you what I did have. I had this little thing, it's so cute. Um, a guy made some cork jaws for me so that when I grabbed onto my rifles. But I mean, this <laughs> versus that, worlds apart. really cool about this vise is I got it with two sort of foot pieces so this little guy indexes in here now the thing that we've attached so we pop that in over there now I can use my vise like this if I want to lock that off all I have to do is put some tension on this and then that's not going anywhere now the vise can rotate it can lengthen but anyway full detailed video on the vise very soon Right, the Henderson trimmer is installed. Let me show you guys. It does ship with a mounting plate, but I chose not to use that because I used my own sort of quick detached mounting system. If I wanted to, you know, have the zero press back here, I can do that. Now, basically how this guy works, again, full video soon, but your case is in there. We're gonna be a little bit naughty to show you how it sort of works. Let me fire up this camera and we are gonna do our very first case here. Right, I'm gonna flick it on. And I've already set the set screw for us. It 
So I was just inspecting this case that came out. I used an old case that I was hydroforming and the sort of shoulder area cracked as I was bumping that shoulder forward. So I thought this could be a nice little, just a quick setup to show you guys how this machine works. Now trimming your brass back to sort of its Sami spec length, if you will, is very important. And it's very important with reloading, if you're shooting far, that you, you're obviously chasing consistency. Now, where the problem for me came in, you know, if you're dealing with large batches of brass, five, 600 pieces at a time, even 200 pieces of a time, it is such a gigantic pain in the ass to trim your brass back, chamfer, deeper, neck brush, the whole situation. It took forever. So I wouldn't do it every time. I skip five, six times. And sometimes you want to close your bolt and your bolt's not closing because you're your case is pushing against basically the steel in your barrel, which is not good. Okay, so with this machine, it's doing all of that in one go, which is a game changer. There are some other benefits to that too, but again, we'll get there when we cover that. Anyway, guys, I need to move my butt because we have some steaks to make. I don't think I'm going to show you guys the whole recipe, but I'll show you how it sort of came out. I hope you've enjoyed sort of setting this up. Now I need to pack all the last things away and entertain.